Hello everyone, today uh, our experiment is about conservation of energy. So, the experimental apparatus here you can see that we have a race course here and you have an object here which is placed at a particular height. So, as this object moves along, it is going to get velocity and that velocity will give you kinetic energy and since it has a height here, it is going to have a potential energy here. But according to conservation of energy, the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy will give you the total energy. So, as the car gets potential, uh, it has potential energy now, as it gains kinetic energy, you are going to lose potential energy at the end of this track. So, the experimental setup here is this track, is this object and it is this sensor here. This sensor communicates with this flag here to tell me when this cross, uh, car crosses this part and I can take the readings from there for whatever I want. So, here I have an equipment that can detect the speed of the car. So, I am going to select speed here and this apparatus is ready. So, the mass of this car is 42.7 grams and I am going to fix it here. Okay, And I am going to measure the height here. This is H1, which is initial height. So, the H1 here is 41.5. So, I am going to record 41.5 here as my initial height and I am going to let this car slide. Okay. So, now after it crossed this point, I got the reading here for speed and the speed it says here is 161.2 meter per second and this is in centimeters. So, I have to convert it to meters as well and after this happens, this is my initial height, right? So, I have to record the final height which is H2. So, I am recording the final height which is 40. centimeters again, I have to convert it to meters. So, this is uh, the point where the car had only potential energy and no kinetic energy because the velocity was 0 and here the car had both kinetic and potential energy. So, at this point the initial energy will be potential energy. So, m g h, h is what? h 1 which we measured and here it will be m g h plus half m v square which is the kinetic energy because of the velocity and half m v square plus m g h will give you the total energy here. So, the energy lost between here and here is what you have to find for the first part of this experiment. So, the energy from here to here you will definitely incur a loss because the car is moving right. So, even when you are climbing stairs the more height you gain. Uh, the lesser your velocity becomes and that is how the car loses here. Okay? So, this is one part of the experiment. The second part of the experiment, we have to take this car out and we have to replace it with this car. This car weight is 50 grams more which is 92.7 grams. So, make sure when you do your calculations, you convert it to kgs it's in grams. Okay? So, this is the car we will be using and we will be using it for this track. For this track, before I use it for this track, I need to make sure that I have the correct measurement here. So, um, this is connected to here. So, I am going to remove this so that I can measure the velocity when it comes here. Okay? So, I am going to give speed again and the equipment is ready. So, in this part of the experiment, I have to calculate the height at which 
this car can complete this whole course through to the end, which is this height which will ha which I'll have to release it at is called the critical height. To calculate the critical height, I have a formula which is given here. Okay, so you see this loop here. This loop has a radius. Okay, first I have to measure the radius here. So the radius radius of this loop is 19, 19 centimeters. So after I calculate the radius, I will have to calculate the critical speed. So the critical speed is the square root of radius multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. So after I find that value, I will have to substitute in the equation given here in the hint section. So that is g h 1 equal to v square over 2 plus g h 2. So when I substitute in that equation, I can get the critical height. So the critical height after the calculation should be somewhere here. So if I release it from here, it means that the car would not complete the whole round. So it is going to be here. So I am going to release it from here. Okay. And you see it completed the whole course. So the speed at which it crossed at this point is 144.9 meter per second. So I will try releasing it from here now. And it reaches the other end. So we can see that the critical height and the uh, is very, very important critical velocity and the critical height is very important for it to complete the whole course. So we are using the conservation of energy to calculate how this car can be uh, use can use its energy to finish its course. Okay. So the experiments, uh, so the experiment cal experimental calculation that uh, that is given here is all based on one equation, which is uh, initial energy is equal to the final energy, and when you substitute in there, you will get all the uh, quantities equal. So make sure that you uh, are very careful when you perform the experiment because all the quantities uh, depend on how the loss is incurred. Okay. Good luck.